What's up besties and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video that has got to do with the mom life. Today I'm going to be talking about tubal litigation and if you're not too sure what that means, it basically means female sterilization. Let's go ahead and dive right into this video. It is no secret that I tied my tubes when Nolly Noss was born. It is a decision that I made way before she was born. Today I'm here to basically share with you guys some information on what that is, the side effects, how much it costs, and what to expect post that surgery. So let's start off with a simple explanation. Tuber litigation or female sterilization is basically a procedure where you get your fallopian tubes cut or cauterized and basically just preventing you from having children. It's a form of contraceptives or birth control, if you want to call it that. There are different types of tuber litigation do your research look at the different types that are there talk to your doctor about it look at your options and basically decide on the one that you like the different types of tuber litigation includes cutting your tubes your fallopian tubes or cutting and cauterizing them in a sense that your gynae will find a spot in your fallopian tubes cut them up and then burn where the cuts are or you have an option to go with the ring where they will basically just hook your fallopian tube like this and insert a ring or some sort of clip there to sort of like form an arc and pretty much just make it difficult for the sperm to go ahead and reach the egg in your fallopian tube and fertilize that and pretty much get you pregnant. Sometimes once they have put that ring or clip, they go ahead and cut up that top part. Again, this is something that you would have to discuss with your gynae. If you want to maybe reverse the procedure, so maybe you just insert that clip or the ring and you leave it at that. That way you can remove it in the future and hope to get pregnant. Or you put the clip, you cut it up and you cauterize that and you call it a day. <laughs> when is the best time to do this? Honestly, it is all up to personal preference again this is something that you want to discuss with your gynae and make sure that this is something that you actually really want talk to your partner your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend whoever it is that you have there with you talk to them about the surgery and whether or not they would want to have kids in the future i feel like people who have made up their minds in terms of not wanting to have children are more likely to want to have this procedure just because it is so much more less stressful you don't have to worry about taking a pill every day buying condoms all the time you don't have to to be stressed out about could I be pregnant every other month this is more of a permanent solution for you if you know for a fact that you don't want to have kids tying your tubes or getting your fallopian tubes cut up is not always a best solution for somebody who's not necessarily sure about what their future might look like there are other options you have IUDs condoms those arm things I'm not too sure what they're called there are many other form of birth control out there that you can use while you are in the process of making up your mind an IUD is somewhat long term because it gives you five clean straight years hopefully don't be that small percentage that falls pregnant with an IUD inserted but you know you catch my drift it is another option before jumping into getting your tubes tied is this a voluntary procedure or something that your gynae forces you to do honestly it depends on the situation personally I feel like there is no gynae who has a right in this whole entire planet to force you into getting your tubes tied or into sterilization because this is such a personal thing you know you never know what your life's gonna turn out to be like and yes in the moment you might be pregnant not employed things not looking up or your gynae is advising you to get your tubes cut up and sterilized and you're thinking it's the best way to go but what happens in a year or two when you find a good job your life just makes a complete 180 spin off and things are looking up and you want to have more kids i knew for effect for me it is what I wanted I had k bear and peanut both by c-section and obviously not and also was born by c-section as well mentally I knew I was never going to be able to handle one more kid financially it wasn't necessarily a problem it's just my mental health I'm already so stretched out that having one more kid is gonna be an even bigger ask for me and yes things might change in the future and there are other options we can look into adoption IVF it doesn't mean that just because my tubes are tied up I can't fall pregnant Pregnant. my uterus is still there i still have good eggs in me i mean i'm not old there are other options if we do decide to have a kid in the future but for right now i i know i cannot handle having one more kid and this might be a permanent thing for me because i'm pretty content with what we have here in fact we're planning a future with just three kids at the moment so i don't see how that would change this is such a personal thing that you want to discuss with your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend pretty much sit down and talk about it make a decision an informed decision for the 
the both of you and make sure that it's what you both want not what your gynae wants don't just follow your gynae's advice and take it as gospel and say she said i need to get my tubes tight so i'm getting my tubes tight this is a big life-changing decision how much does it cost this varies obviously from gynae to gynae just like gynae to gynae consultations are different so with my gynae i paid only three thousand rand i don't know if this was because i was already having a c-section and so i was already cut open at the time or if this is a standard fee that they charge per procedure remember this is an actual surgery or procedure where they have to put you under and get inside of you and cut your tubes and cauterize them or whatever procedure that you chose for your female sterilization again talk to your gynae do your research don't go for the cheapest go for somebody you trust because you don't want anything to go wrong was it painful yes it was painful but remember at a time when i got my tubes tied i was already open for a c-section and at the time i wasn't doing a pretty good job of taking my pain meds because the pain meds they were giving me were making me dizzy and sleepy and i didn't want that because i wanted to spend time with my nolinols who was in the NICU at the time so it was a lot of pain that is just my experience i had some of the besties respond to my instagram post saying they had their procedure post having baby so they were not already cut up open having a c-section when they had their procedure and yes it hurt like a mother for them too but it did heal quickly majority of them said they healed pretty quickly it's just that the pain was rather unexpected it's something to take into consideration too you might be immobile maybe for a week or maybe a few days but you must also remember that your doctor will obviously prescribe some pain meds and then depending on how you feel because we're all different it will obviously differ on how quickly you get off those pain meds monthly periods this is something that everybody wanted to know do you still get your period when you have your tubes cut up or after the female sterilization procedure the sad truth is yes you do <laughs> i'll be honest i was one of the few people who honestly thought once my tubes are tied and i'm pretty much sterilized i won't be getting my period i didn't do enough research and i realize now that I didn't do myself a favor but yes you do get your period remember your period is not necessarily coming from your egg your period is mostly coming from your uterus shedding off that lining that it had made thinking or hoping you will fall pregnant for as long as you still have your uterus in you it will go through that monthly cycle of making that lining nice and thick hoping for an egg to come and attach on there so that it can you know start growing a healthy human baby or nothing attaches and it starts shedding and you basically get your period so the only thing I have noticed though with my period is that it's normally like two or three days off sometimes it'll be two days later sometimes it's two days earlier another question that kept coming up is what happens if your last baby say for example you decided to have your tube sterilized when you have your baby like I did what happens if that baby doesn't survive it is a sad reality I'm pretty sure there are people who have been through situations like this and again it all boils down to talking to your gynae I was naive in thinking that Bonola was gonna survive and there was nothing bad that was gonna happen and it didn't hit me until Bonola was in the NICU and I was thinking to myself what if she doesn't survive you know what if she doesn't survive what's gonna happen but the funny thing is and this is what gave me peace was the fact that the decision to make to get my tubes tied had nothing to do with the amount of babies I had it was just a personal decision the decision I took for me it's something that you need to discuss with your gynae make sure you have an open and honest conversation about it ask those questions what happens if during that c-section there are complications that my baby doesn't make it are you gonna ask me should i go ahead or not or do you just proceed and do it anyway or can i have a ring inserted or a clip inserted so that should my baby not make it i can be able to stand a chance in the future if i decide to do so it's a difficult probably most uncomfortable conversation to have maybe for you but it needs to be had can the surgery be reversed this depends on which type you got whether you got a clip a ring or you got them cut up and cauterized it depends on a few things which obviously you will discuss with your gynae age is one of them obviously and then your health your previous pregnancies if you've been pregnant before and have other children it depends on a whole lot of stuff but yes there are some that can be reversed and then there are others that cannot i mean if you had your fallopian tubes cut up and they cut up a big chunk it might not be possible to sort of reattach them because they won't reach each other or 
for whatever reason a non-medical profession this is something that you need to discuss with your gynae how do you prepare for the procedure emotionally and physically physically i don't think there really is much you can do to prepare for the procedure unless your gynae tells you so but you can prepare yourself emotionally and also in a way educationally is there such a word that's educationally i don't know but you can do your research look at the options make sure that you know what you're going into before you actually go into it make sure you are in the right space your head is in the right head space and you are not making that decision with your emotions you could be mad at your husband or your boyfriend or your partner your girlfriend or your wife make sure you're not making that decision because you're mad at them or because you want to get back at them for whatever it is they didn't do for you or you want to stop your parents or your extended family or somebody else from complaining that you're having too many children or because you're just trying to please somebody else make sure this is a decision you are making for you pray about it if you have to the one question i asked myself was if me and dizzy were to get a divorce down the line would i want to have more kids with whoever i get to start a relationship with and the answer was a hard no like i wouldn't want to when i said no i didn't freak out i didn't feel sad i didn't feel panic i was just it was just peace it, it liberated me it made me realize that this is actually the right decision for me dizzy i'm not gonna force him into having a vasectomy he's obviously not where i am he completely understands why i don't want to have more kids why i'm not gonna be able to have one more kid and um, why i made this decision that's that guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video i have done this and it's been well over 18 months of me with my tubes sterilized i am fine emotionally nothing has changed to be honest my periods are still as regular as they are i have no regrets still i must say though i have had an iud and i obviously have my tubes sterilized right now and when i had the iud it was far worse than it is now with my tubes sterilized the iud gave me the worst period pains ever like i hardly ever get period pains but with the iud inserted it was terrible it was so bad i had the copper iud i didn't get the mirena because i didn't want any extra hormones in my system and it was so bad i had it removed i think after a year or so because i couldn't take it anymore with my tubal litigation i haven't had such things i'm still basically me except i obviously am sterilized we are not using any form of protection obviously i haven't been pregnant in over 18 months so things are looking up it is fantastic i have no complaints if i do fall pregnant i will let you know there is some sort of statistics that say you can still fall pregnant after you get your tubes sterilized anyway that's all i wanted to share i hope you enjoyed watching go ahead and share this video with your friends your friends friends anybody who you think might find this helpful share this information with them because guys sharing is caring <laughs> and until then we'll catch you best in the next video. Bye besties.